I just made a hundred and sixty two dollars in an hour and 10 minutes. Here's how. It's DK and I'm back like I never left because I'm cooking up content like a chef. Shooting videos like a chef. Uh, curry. So hurry up, subscribe because it's time for us to slide. If you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. You about to pull up right now so we can scope. I love running up this dough. Comment below, let me know. Do you love running up this dough? If not, I don't know what to tell you. This is probably the wrong channel for you. But guess what? We about to do what we about to do. Now, we're about to pick up three orders from one Home Depot store. Order number one, we're picking up 20 bags of mulch and three four by fours. We're gonna drive three miles for 45 48. I love uh, running to that cake and being great. Now, order number two is we're picking up a toilet. We're going to drive four miles for $21.91. It ain't that much money, but we got to do what we got to do so we get the job done. And order number three, guess what? Y'all know I'm a, I'm a beast. Now, order number three, we're picking up four chairs. We're going to drive seven miles for $47.38. Guess what? We're about to pull up and get this cake. Let's go. And we are here at the first store at the Home Depot at the Glen. We about to pull up. We already about to get it in, baby. Now I have a question for you. Do you guys call it the Home Depot or do you just say Home Depot? Comment below and let me know. We here to skull. <clears throat> Y'all see what's going on, baby. We're gonna drop this mulch in first. And then we also have those four by fours. So I'm gonna put the mulch right here. I'm gonna put the four by fours on top. We gonna keep on getting to this money. We ain't gonna never stop. Let's get it. Money. Put the chairs right here. Lean that back. Lean back. Lean back like Fred Joe. First, I have to move the kids' stuff, so I'm gonna put the stuff right here in this grass so we can get this cash. Cause I don't want to mess up their stuff. You know what I'm talking about? The kiddos was out here getting busy. They was out here getting it in, getting dividends. Okay, put that right there. Put this mulch right here on the side of the garage. Uh. Last one. Uh. Oh. Got that right there. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see how I got them. Uh. I got them right. We pulled up. Time to get our pockets tight. Y'all already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. We hit the scope. Step back in with the photos. Smack. We gone. Stop number two. We hear what it do. If you ain't forget change your crew. Gonna put this, put it by the front though. Put the joint by the front though. Right here. Bop, bop. You already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Y'all know what we're here to do. Step back in with the photo. Smack. We go. Guess what we just got? Order number four. We about to go to another Home Depot so we can uh go. Y'all saw me with the left hand. We already get into these bands. We are picking up a door. We're driving seven miles for 47.38 again. We're about to go in here and get these dividends. I love the win. Let's go. Uh, and just like that, we got everything strapped up. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can uh, run it up. Let's go. Stop number three. We are here to get this cheese, baby. -e -e. We are here getting bit busy. It's the chair. So I'm gonna sit the chair right here. Then we're gonna step back, hit him with the photo. You already know though. We gone. Just like that, we are here at the last drop off, trying to knock their socks off. Who almost fell. Y'all saw me slip? Almost slipped and fell. I had to put this towel on so I don't mess up their dough. But we hit a skull. Get a pop like Crisco. Lean back. Lean back right there. This house is beautiful. I just want y'all to know. Step back, I hit him with the photo. Smack. We gone. Let's go ahead and get into it. We literally just made $162 in one hour and 10 minutes. Now, just so you guys know, Home Depot in my area opens up at six o'clock. We drop off the first order at 618. And then order number two was the toilet. We dropped that off at 630. And then we got order number three. We dropped that off at 657. 
And then last but not least, order number four. We jumped all off at 710. Went out there and got those dividends. Y'all saw us win. Now, I know everybody be, well, you had to drive to the store. You had to drive. Look, I drive out this way every day anyway. I drive out this way to go get busy. So, I don't really count that. And I understand I have to drive home, but this is how I look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that everybody looks at it different. Um, the way I look at it is, I have to move around in order to make money. If I don't move around, I'm not going to make any money. That's just how I feel. And that's how, that's how it goes on in my era for me. Um, everybody else have different situations. Some people may be able to just turn on the app at home and that joint go off and then go get busy like that. I do get some orders here and there from home, but it's not as consistent and often as uh, I do when I go out. So that's the reason why I go out. I want the money, not the clout. I understand everybody gets to do it, how they get to do it, but y'all know I, I spit that hot fluid. So comment below and let me know, how long would it take you to make $162 in your area? Orders five and six, we're about to pull up to Home Depot to get in the mix. Now, we're going to the same Home Depot we just left from, but we do have kind of something I'm skeptical of for this first order, which is order number five. And that is, we are picking up, this is what we're supposed to pick up, 169 boxes of light bulbs. We're gonna drive seven miles for 47.38. 47.38? Hey, what you know about that? Comment below and let me know if you know about that. Now, I don't really know if this is right in the app. That's the reason why I picked this order because 169 boxes of light bulbs. So this it's saying that it's supposed to be 75 boxes that weighs three pounds and 94 boxes that weigh, supposed to weigh four pounds. So I don't know what it's gonna be. We're about to pull up and get busy. Either way, go. About to go up here and go. Now, order number six is we're picking up six totes. We're gonna drive eight miles for 4801. About to pull up and get it done. Let's go. You boss? That's good. That's I'm living a dream. I woke up this morning. I can't complain. Oh, yeah. If I did, I'd be lying. <laughs> Hopefully, you got a fork truck there too. Yeah, oh Perfect. You want it in further? No, nope, leave it right there. All right. Good and just like that, y'all see what's going on. We got these. This is critical right here. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully they got a fork truck at the drop off. We gonna see. And then we got these bins. We're about to pull up and get it in. Let's go. One hour later. Appreciate you boss. You too. Step back in with the photo. You already know that. Smack. We gone. Well, unfortunately we had to take the stuff back to the store. This is the reason why. When I got done putting everything in the van, the app told me that the customer requested that we call one hour before we were gonna drop the stuff off. Unfortunately, with the roadie app, I don't know uh, if the store is supposed to call, who's supposed to call, but I can't call. I'm only 15 minutes out away from the drop-off location. So I called the customer, let them know, look, I'll be there in 15 minutes. He like, they were supposed to call me, uh, call me and let me know an hour ahead. They ain't gonna do with me. That's, that's on Home Depot, they ain't gonna do with me. So he said, let me call somebody and see if they can meet you there and I'll give you a call back. He called me back. He said that yes, my guy's gonna meet you there in about 15 to 20 minutes. Mind you, that's already five minutes more than I really wanna wait anyway. I wanna go there, drop that stuff off and get on the go and drop this other order off. But I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna give him an extra little five minutes just because of the situation. It ain't my fault, but it is what it is. So, okay, cool. We get to the drop off location and we're dropping this stuff off to a storage unit. And in order to get in there, you have to have a gate call. You have to be a person who has a storage unit in order to get in the gate. So I sit there and wait. 15 minutes go past. I didn't hear nothing. 20 minutes go past. The guy never showed up. 25 minutes go past. I'm like, okay, cool. So after the 20 minutes, I go in the app and hit cannot access the drop off location. I can't access it. So now at this point, I gotta wait five minutes in order for me to get a return trip. So in the meantime, in between time, I have now waited all together 35 minutes. I reach out to the customer, let them know, look, I'm taking this stuff back to the store. I'm not waiting no more. The guy, you told me your guy was gonna be here in 15, 20 minutes, these stuff was, yeah, my guy gonna be here in five more minutes. No, I'm not waiting. See, look, I don't play games like that. Five minutes means 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then you gonna say he's down the road, down the road. You ain't about to leave me on. Look, this stuff is going back to the store, buddy. He was highly upset. He asked me who was my manager. Who was, I don't work for Home Depot. I'm sorry to tell you, buddy. I don't work for Home Depot. This stuff is going back to the store. I gave you more time than you asked for anyway. I waited an extra 15 minutes and you ain't called me back and say nothing. My guy running a little late, you ain't say nothing. So guess what? We took that stuff back to the store. Now it's time for us to pull up to order number six so we can scold that go. We are here at the drop off. We talked to the customer. He said leave it in the garage, baby. So we're gonna leave it right here. Right here. Bingo. 
Drop right here. Drop like it's hot. Y'all already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Step back with the photo. Y'all already know. Smack. We gone. And just like that, we done. We're out there and got those funds. Today we made 30492. Got to that money. That's what we do. Now, I do want to say this about the customer before we go. Honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, that whole hour wait thing, that was not his fault. Uh, Home Depot should have did something different and maybe reached out to him. I'm not sure because it's kind of like a confusing thing between Rody and Home Depot because it's, it's not going to work out right. Because how does the store know when the person going to pick up the order? So they don't really know. And I can't call him an hour ahead because I got to go do other stuff. So it really wasn't his fault all in all. But either way, go, we had to go out there uh, and ball in our stall. And I understand that some people would have sat there and wait. I'm not going to sit here and wait all day for you. I understand. Pay me some more money. Give me a hundred dollar tip. If he if he said, well, if you wait, I'll give you this, I would have probably waited for him. But unfortunately, I don't have time to sit here and wait. I can go drop it right back off to the store and get some okay. So that's what we did. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And guess what? If you are not subscribed, now is your chance to join the crew. Get money is what we do. And if you want some of that money that we be getting, I will be giving away over $1,000 when we get to 100,000 subscribers. In order to earn your chance to win some of that money, you must be subscribed. If you're not, you are not getting under that dough. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.